and we're back to Sweefy News Channel 22. And today's segment is going to be about the space race to outer space exploration. And the two countries involved right now are the United States and the Soviet Union. And uh, the reason for this happening was because towards the end of um, World War II, the Soviet Union and the Americans, they spotted German engineering that were, and they were building rockets. So the Americans and the Soviets wanted to create something like that. Therefore, they recruited their own engineers. The Americans um, recruited a famous German engineer named Werner von Braun. And the Soviets recruited Soviet Kovalev, I think. And it's off to who's the best one to have the, the most advanced technology. Now, there is many stages during this time in the 1950s. The U.S. was, was eager to prove all other countries their superiority and their, their strength and military and, and, their, and their, power, their power in science. Therefore, in the 1950s, the first stage was that both countries, Soviets and the Americans, they both declared that they, were, they wanted to launch a satellite in outer space. And, in, and on 1957, the Soviets beat the United States in launching their first satellite, which was the Soviets. In 1957, they launched their first satellite into outer space, leaving the United States as the losers. But the United States didn't give up. In 1958, the United States launched their first satellite to outer space. Now, I believe, according to my sources, that stage two for the U.S. and the Soviets was more of a back and forth action. The U.S. would send out satellites and then the Soviets would send out satellites. And, um, but it all became serious once the Soviets started experiencing with the dog in outer space. And then on 1961, this is where the Soviets achieved their goal. They finally beat the U.S. And for putting the first man, they beat the U.S. again, actually, to be, um, to be the first, the first country to send out a human being into outer space. Which left the which left the U.S. in embarrassment and, and as the as the as the people in a loss, but the U.S. still sent uh, on later that year they still sent a man into outer space. His name was Alan Shepard, and um, John F. Kennedy uh, made a strong claim that they said that they would be the first people in a, as an American country to reach the moon, and the first people to walk on the moon. And then stage three was the space was the space race to the moon this time, and and um, again the U.S. finally finally beat the Soviets to that, and the U.S. became the first people on the moon. As a new caster, I don't really know as much what in depth what I uh, about the space race, so I'm gonna pass it to my interviewer Howard Huerta, who is with an expert at this moment. Um, to you, Howard. Shields. What was the role of the United States in the space race? And uh, why was the Soviet Union involved? Okay, okay. So, the role that the US played in the space race was to dominate the Soviet Union so that the US could get to the moon first. The Soviet Union was involved for the same reasons the US was involved to get to the moon first. But the Soviet Union was the first to send someone to space. They also made the US believe that they were falling behind the technological superior. I shield, I shield, I got the next three questions for you right here. From www.wikipedia, we have, how was the space race resolved? What happened at the end of the space race? And how was it achieved? Thank you. Hmm, okay. So what happened towards the end? Okay, good question, Howard. Um, Neil Armstrong actually took some photos on the moon. He walked on, a little, on the moon for a little. And that's pretty much it. Um, but also in 1975, the end of the space race occurred when the first US Soviet Union mission occurred with the Apollo project. This resolved in the two nations becoming one. Or, or like, how can I say this? Becoming eco and nice, no more war going on between them. 
The Shields, I have two last questions here from history.com. How did it impact America? How did space race impact America ultimately? And how did it impact the global world? Please. Thank you. Good question, good question. This didn't just impact America. This impacted the whole world. The space race was the gate into, aeros into the aerospace um, capability and left a wider whole gate, however you want to say it, in the field of technology. Great questions from our interviewer, Howard Horta, and great answers from our expert, Dr. Isaac Shields. Oh, wait. Howard's trying to communicate with us. Um, he says he has more questions with more answers, but this time he's with a bystander. Carry on, Howard. You as a bystander, why would this relevant? Why is it still relevant today? Why should we care? First of all, how do we see the impact of the event, and how should we view this in today's like today's point of view? Yes, you know, as a bystander, I agree with everything that's going on. But you know, to this day, to this day, um, the list of technology from outer from this space race goes on. You know, it's it's, it's until this day. Consumer products like wireless headsets, LED lighting portable cordless vacuums, freezer, fr um, the freeze-dried foods, memory phone, and all that stuff. It's all familiar to the space um, technology from the research and development of this space race. It's, like, it's considered important because it showed the world which country had the best science, technology, and economic system. After World War II, both the United States and the Soviet Union realized that the important rocket, so important rocket research would be to be in military.